Pill Bear Provincial Park, sitting on my chair from my campsite, looking at the water. It's so pretty. Just set my tent up. Tina drinking on her her Sleemans, <laughs> and Alex eating an apple, naked, in a tent. He's not naked. Sweet sight. <laughs> if you want this site, it's uh, 631. We'll take you on a tour in a little bit. Tina just informed me that Alex is not naked anymore. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex. He's coming out of the tent. He's coming out of his cave. All right, we're gonna go check out the beach. Directly right behind our site. Nice park. I was here about eight years ago. I haven't been here since. I've been to a bunch of other parks, but not this one. So tomorrow I'm gonna go for a nice bike ride. Check out. I'll get a, get some footage on camera. And this beach is directly right behind our site. Right there. Water's pretty shallow. Those guys are out pretty far. It looks like they're uh, about waist deep. And earlier, I've seen some people swimming out to this island out there. Or, sorry, wading out to the island. Don't even need to swim out there. Looks like there's a uh, Inuk Shook right on the island. This rock shelf here is pretty cool. If you follow that shelf, it's right behind the campsite that we're at. Can't see it from here, but it's pretty cool. Nice crystal water. Big beach. So it's uh, June 30th today. Water's nice and warm. And Tina, she's walking out there. Alex's girlfriend. All right, time to go swimming. Water's beautiful temperature right now. Look at this tree line, just unreal. Can definitely appreciate that. Alex, found his own little baby pool. How's the water in there, it must be warm. Yeah, Any beaches in here? <laughs> it is nice and warm, it's like that. Nice. This is good. Well, look at that. Tina makes it to the island. That's her right there, right in the center. We'll have to get a report from her when she gets back. I don't know if she walked or if she swam partial. But when she gets back, we'll ask her. What's that? Yeah, eh? You liked it? Yep. Did you have to swim at all? Yeah, uh, a little bit here. Yeah? Yeah, right when you get uh, kind of where those rocks are. Okay. You get just off at all. How deep? Any idea? I don't know. I can't see the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You walked like three quarters, I think. Yeah. You walk most of it. You only have to swim like maybe 50 meters. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. You got a nice view you can see over yeah, on all the other side. Down. And then all the way over that way, too. There's a bunch more islands on that side. Cool. Good job. You're a trooper going out there by yourself. Look how smooth these rock formations are, eh? From the thousands of years of the water beating up on it, sanding it down, smoothing the edges. So I just mountain biked this ridge 
This is where uh, the beach where we were uh, earlier today. That's the island that Tina went to. And this is the ridge just on this side of it. And I literally, right from the site, I mountain biked and came up through this whole ridge on the bike. I had to get off maybe one or two spots. And uh, I'm on the other side now watching the sunset, which is such an amazing spot. So if you got a good mountain bike and you like biking, this ridge is really cool. I suggest you wear a helmet though, because uh, a lot of little crevices, easy to fall, some steep parts. I manage it pretty well. And I'm just wearing my Crocs. But I do a lot of biking, so. Now I'm just gonna go jump in, cause it's damn hot right now, man. Beautiful spot. That sun. We got about got about two hours to sundown. Yeah, tomorrow what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do this exact same bike, and I'm gonna mount my GoPro on the handlebars so you can see the exact trail, which is pretty awesome. So I'll grab that footage sometime tomorrow. It's getting late in the day now, so tomorrow after breakfast when I'm all energetic, I get her done. Yeah, so I came back to the site to uh, come and get Tina and Alex because that view over there is so magical. I wanted them to come take a look at it as well. So, Alex on the bike. He's got torn Achilles. So walking is tough for him, so he's got the lead. He's taking the bike and uh, we, we have his crutches. We should grab those, eh? I'm like, I knew I needed something in the car. <laughs> Good thing I'm making this video. <laughs> we would have got there and been like, Alex, we're gonna go find you some branches. <laughs> I tried that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So yeah, we're gonna go to the ridge. We packed some food. We got some snacks, some drinks, a uh, bottle of wine, and uh, we're gonna go and enjoy what's left of the sun. So we made it on the ridge. And our injured buddy, He's coming. slowly but surely, yep. it'll be worth the sun. Look at that. It's going to be great. So we made it to the top of the ridge just in time. We're sitting here with about four, 45 minutes or so to drop. I'm gonna go jump in the water right now and take my my bath for the night. And I got myself a nice Michelob. Michelob! What's that, Tina? Oh, right there? She wants me to jump the cliff. I don't know about that right now. I don't know right now. I don't know. Looks like these guys are doing it. I'm not feeling so energetic right now. I will go the easy way. And this is where I'm going in. I can just slide right on in. Nice and easy. It's been a long day, we don't need no accidents. I'd rather take the uh, safe approach. You never know. So this is our view from here. We're still waiting for the sunset. Isn't she gorgeous? So we're still about 40 minutes until it's going to dip right below the, the tree line. Look at that straight line. The sun has a line going right to me. Oh, look at the sunset. She's dipping down real close now.
We're about 15 minutes. Inching its way down. Still didn't touch the peak of the trees yet. She's close. Just one last little corner left. Beautiful sky, nice and orange, pink, red. This is where I think I like to have my car. And just like that, below the tree line, not the horizon yet, but just the tree line. Your Wade filmed it? That was unbelievable. Here's a YouTube video, eh? On well, where's the tree? Well, it's all she wrote. The sunset is over. Alright, it's time to tour back. Before it gets dark, I got my mountain bike and I'm gonna travel the peninsula all the way back to our site. Alex and Tina already took off and I'm gonna meet them at the trailhead. Hey guys, I didn't do what I wanted to do. I wanted to mountain bike uh, the whole ridge, but I didn't do it. <clears throat> Last night, go figure, um, I didn't even have one beer and I get injured. I, uh, it was pitch dark and I tripped over the fire grill, which was not in the fire, it, it was laying on the side and I bashed up my leg and uh, I couldn't really walk for the rest of the night. So by the time I woke up, it stormed all morning and I wasn't able to uh, get on my bike and do it, So, which was kind of a bummer because I was looking forward to seeing the footage, but couldn't do it. And uh, here I am, I'm home. Um, doing nothing, waiting for my next trip. So hopefully she comes soon. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, I have a few trips planned. I'm gonna be going around Lake Erie soon. Um, scheduled in about two and a half weeks. I'll be visiting a bunch of different parks. Uh, so anyways, I will um, post my next um, adventure. Thanks for watching.